Welcome to Electron Online. Let's start out with a simple example to prove out the theorem of Pappus Goldinus. Well, we're not really proving it out, we're simply using the theorem. Here we have a, a line, a line segment, runs from 0, 0 to 6, 3 on the coordinate system. We're trying to find the area of the, of the object that we get when we rotate this around the x-axis. When we rotate it around, it will look like a cone. Like so, when we wrote this all the way around, in order to find it, we know that the area is equal to the length of the curve, in this case a straight line, times the distance covered by the centroid. Now, the centroid will be right here at the halfway point. There's the centroid, and it will cover a circular path as it rotates about the x-axis. The radius of the, circuit pad, of the circular pad is going to be equal to the y-coordinate of the center mass of that particular line segment. And so it will be the length of the line segment times the distance covered, which is equal to 2 pi times the radius, and the radius is equal to the y-coordinate of the center of mass. All we have to do is find the length. Now the length here can be found. This is a triangle. We can use, this is 3. This height here is 3 units. The, Distance here is six units, so the length is equal to the square root of the square, the sum of the squares of the sides, that'd be six squared plus three squared. That's equal to the square root of 36 plus nine, which is equal to the square root of 45. So the length is equal to the square root of 45. We multiply that times two pi, and we multiply that times the y coordinate of the centroid. Now the centroid is halfway from this to the top here, if this is 3, then this must be equal to 1 and a half. And now with a calculator, we'll quickly find out what the areas of that cone. So it be the 45, take the square root, times 2, times pi, times 1.5, and we get 63.2. 63.2 is the area. And then, of course, units-wise depends what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with centimeters, meters, feet, whatever it is. But without the units, that would be the area of that cone by using the very clever theorem of Pappus-Goldinus. And that's how that's done.